Topping our news, 39 cities and towns in one day. That's what's in store for Rhode Island Pro Soccer. The state is pushing to build enthusiasm over this professional soccer stadium that's set to be built in Pawtucket. And as part of the Whirlwind Tour, we'll find out all the details about the team. Kate Walsh joins us live with the very latest on the project. Well, guys, today's the day we find out the name of the team, the colors and crest. And just for fun, we asked on social media what people would want it to be called. And one person had a pretty clever response. The blue wave first for the nautical, you know, appreciation for living in Rhode Island, but also because of the uh, election night when everyone was talking about the red wave and blue wave and then all of the offices going in Rhode Island to Democrats. So kind of tongue in cheek there with that one. But we won't know for sure until 10 o'clock this morning. What the name of the soccer team will be, but whatever the team name will be, they will be playing right behind us here. That's Tidewater Landing across the Seekonk River from where we're live, and there will be a stadium there that's set to have games playing by 2024. Now, here's what the renderings look like of the highly controversial project. It's estimated to cost a total now of $344 million. Governor Dan McKee gave the tie-breaking vote to approve an additional $27 million in Rhode Islanders' tax money to the development Developer to cover rising costs due to inflation. And our most recent poll just last month showed of the 402 Rhode Islanders polled, 56% opposed the plan as it's projected to cost taxpayers $60 million in total. But soccer fans and enthusiasts welcome the new opportunity to highlight their sport. I just think it's going to be just a really great platform to bring people together um, and just strengthen our community. And I think the game is growing all over the world and especially in this country now with the World Cup coming here soon uh, next time. I think again, this is just sorry. exciting. No, no, I get it. Um, no, this is just another opportunity for us to enjoy something together as a community. So in this 24 hour blitz, they will be visiting every town and city, 39 towns and cities in Rhode Island, and they started a new Shoreham on Block Island yesterday. And then today after the announcement at 10 o'clock, representatives from the team will be all over the state having parties to try to boost the enthusiasm. Live in Pawtucket, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. All right, today's the day we find out the name, colors, and crest of the professional soccer team that will be uh, playing at Tidewater Landing, that new stadium in Pawtucket. Kate Walsh is with us live this morning. It certainly is an exciting day for people who are soccer fans, but there is no doubt this project has been controversial from the start, Kate. Yeah, and you can see that on our social media when we asked, you know, what people think the team name should be. Of course, it's already been decided and it's going to be announced today, but just hearing people's reactions and you can take social media for what it's worth. But just to get an idea, there are some pretty colorful ones on there. The main critique uh, across the board is the price tag for the project because it's going to cost taxpayers about $60 million in their tax money to be built. And that stadium is expected to be done in 2024 ready for games and it's going to be right behind us where we're standing here looking out at the Seekonk River in Pawtucket. That's Tidewater Landing right behind us there. And the critics fear that revenue won't be made enough to, uh, you know, make up for the price tag here because they're wondering how many people will be going to these soccer games. Now here's a rendering of the stadium. You can see the rendering says it's going to be called Riptide Stadium and perhaps that's a hint at what the team name could be. This morning at 10, Rhode Island Pro Soccer will unveil Unveil the name and logo of the Rhode Island USL Championship Club franchise. The announcement will be at the Blackstone Valley Visitor Center, and then team representatives will immediately begin their whirlwind tour across the state, boosting enthusiasm. They're trying to appeal to soccer fans, but among the 402 likely voters we polled last month, 56% said they opposed the plan that was greenlighted by Governor Dan McKee. If you remember, it was also a major issue during election season. The sport is growing rapidly. Um, I think it's, it's amazing for the community of Rhode Island because Rhode Island has so much diversity to begin with. And uh, because of the diversity, I really think that that team is going to succeed in so many different ways that a lot of clubs can't do in, in this country. So it's exciting times. Now, the developers and supporters of this plan are hopeful that the 10,000 seat stadium will attract many people to the area and be a destination. They'll eventually, in other phases, have some housing units here and then also retail space as well. Live in Pawtucket, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.